Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you a method of improving the rendering of fonts on Linux. So one thing that I've consistently noticed since I've been using Linux as my primary operating system is that when it comes to font rendering, certainly in comparison to Windows, I found that it's far worse and how worse it is is entirely dependent on the distribution you're using. So from my experience, I found that distributions that are based on Ubuntu tend to have the best rendering applied out of the box. And in contrast, OpenSUSE, Fedora, Manjaro, and other Arch-based distributions have, well, in my opinion at least, the worst default rendering settings. As what you'll find is that words will often appear jagged and rough. Of course, like many things, this is completely subjective to me, but I can see a noticeable difference between using different distributions. Luckily, it's relatively easy to improve font rendering on Linux, and it just involves creating a couple of font configuration files, missing some values into them, and then reboot your system to apply. In particular, the Manjaro Wiki has a great page that covers the steps required. Now, at this particular stage, I'm going to presume that you use Nano as your text editor. If not, the following terminal commands just amend them to basically reference the text editor of your choice. So the first thing we need to do is create a new local config file in the fonts folder. And we can do this with the following terminal command, this one here. So the command is sudo nano and then referencing your font location. Type your password in. And from here we just need to copy these values in. And now to save that file we need to press Ctrl and X and then Y to confirm to save it. Next, we need to create a backup of the X resources file if it's already there. But if it's not, it's not the end of the world. So once again, copy this command across. In my case, I don't already have that, so that's absolutely fine. We can move on to the next one, which is to create a X resource file. But once again, copy the command here. And this time we want to paste in this list of attributes here. Control X again, and then Y to confirm and save. Finally, we just need to merge the settings. So if we command this, copy this command here. So at this stage, this is all the configuration we need to do. But as it states here, we do need to make sure that anti-aliasing is labeled and it says hitting, it should say hinting, is set to slight in system settings. So to do that on KDE, you go to System Settings and scroll down to the bottom. In fact, we can do a search for it. Let's search for fonts. There we go, fonts. So as you can see here, anti-aliasing is enabled, as well as hinting slight. Alternatively, if you're using GNOME as your desktop environment, you'll have to install an application called GNOME Tweaks. And from there, you can navigate to the Fonts tab where you'll find these options. Either way, once you've confirmed this, reboot your system to apply the settings. On a related note, when it comes to fonts that are used on the internet, you'll often find that websites will use common Microsoft ones such as Arial, Times New Roman, and Vendana, and God forbid, Comic Sans. So this will often explain that why some websites will look off when these fonts are not installed on your system. And in fact, what you'll find most of the time, your system will be using replacement fonts from the Liberation font family. But once again, this is something that is really easy to rectify. And all it does is involves you installing the MS font through your package manager. So for example, on a Arch-based distribution, as long as you've installed the TTF-MS fonts from the AUR, or what the equivalent is for your particular distribution, you'll find that all websites will now be using the correct font. So just to be clear, these fonts do not require you to have a license copy of Windows 10, but they are proprietary to Microsoft and not open source which is likely the reason why no distributions, to my knowledge at least, includes them by default. Either way, with these two adjustments, hopefully your fonts will look much nicer and less jagged. In my experience at least, I found this makes a huge difference in Arch-based distributions such as Manjaro. Let me know if it worked for you anyway. Alternatively, you can also check out the Arch Wiki article on font configuration, which does have some other options when it comes to improving the font rendering on Linux. Either way, it does bring this video to an end. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, 
please do consider leaving a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.